It's so big. Thanks, I've been Jelk Maxing. Welcome to this year's first, first Koopaganza. They should explode. Yeah, literally, we, I, I, and you were like, I was just gonna say that. Stop for me. Please, no more retinol for me. How much gloop are we glopping here? Did you biff? Hey, I'm Nicole. That's, oh, that's, that's Nicole. Nicole. That's Nicole. And I'm Jake. That's, that's Jake. Jake. Who's that? And this is Talk And this is Talk Nasty to me. Wait, what did what? I do? Did I bliff in here? Did you biff? I did not. Oh, bliff. Oh, <laughs> biff. I haven't bliffed in a long time. Biff? I did biff in <laughs> What's a bliff? Don't worry about it. Okay. Right before this, oh, oh, I'm thinking about um spliff. What's that? I actually think that's it's like a, biff. But I think that's a joint. <laughs> and I was like, wait, I think bliff means joint. If queef is is fart for a queen, mm -hmm. and peef is fart for for a princess, <laughs> or, or, or for a prince, because like peef is like like prince the dead prince. Yeah. Not right. like not like. For, no, for penises, peef. Yeah, I don't think Prince ever peefed. Prince was saying. a five-three man who never peefed in his entire life. That man was in high heels and saying purple you like, rain. Why are you a prince? Why are you like protecting Prince? Because I just know if someone peefed or not, and I, feel, <laughs> I can tell. You can tell by their by their face. Yeah, and okay. that man is dead and can't defend himself. And okay, I think well, if someone didn't peef themselves, then they shouldn't have to. Well, if queef is queef is fart for a queen, mm -hmm. and peef is fart for a prince. Mm -hmm. Then why don't we call like farts like beefs, butt farts, butt butt queefs, butt eefs. Someone commented on this podcast the last time and said this podcast is literally just an emergency intercom knockoff except less poop jokes and you're getting like really close to crossing that threshold. I know. Anytime somebody asks me like what this is about or whatever. No one's asking you. Yeah. Well, okay, fine. That's true. <laughs> no, but seriously though, if people do like... When I think about it, sometimes I'm like, do we like talk about too many gross things? And then I think about the title of this podcast being talk nasty to me. And I'm like, oh, that's true. I guess like it works. I also like just, I enjoyed, I would rather do this here than in my podcast or in my regular videos because my regular videos, most of them are now like scripted out or like written at least. Right. This and, is your chance to just like talk. Right. And if I had to, if I was writing out peef jokes into my peef and queef jokes into my like video essays and stuff that's sick like that's sad like that's yeah, really upsetting this is not and scripted, sad. so so it's allowed so yeah exactly it's safe mm -hmm. it's a safe space this is also my space like we i'm allowed to all do that peef and queef jokes yeah. yes we should do a thumbnail before we we start okay oh my that's me peefing <laughs> Let me let me arrange my hands nicely. Oh no, I thought you were gonna do the thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'll Sorry. make something work. <laughs> I'll get something together. Uh, Jake and I recently have been saying, um, if you would have done this like 20 years ago, they would have taken you out back and shot you. <laughs> and I'm getting that kind of mixed up between. If you would have done this 20 years ago, they would have taken you out back and given you back shots. And I need to, like, <laughs> watch what I'm saying. No, on the phone the other day, you were like, oh, I'm sorry. Did I say they would have taken you out back and shot you? Or did I say they would have taken you out back and blown your back out? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was. That's yeah. what it was. Damn, now I'm going to have another thing to confuse it with. Back shots or blow your back out. Who, who was saying back shots? Is somebody named, like, back shot something in a TikTok that we saw recently? Like, I'm backshot Steve or something. Someone was like, I, they call me backshot. That's, oh, it was Kai. No, that's your cousin. <laughs> My cousin. <laughs> your cousin is backshot Steve. <laughs> and I blow your back out, Jake. <laughs> and I'm... No, it was Kai. Said it and was, I'm blow your brains out <laughs> 20 years ago. <laughs> Nikki Nasty. Damn! <laughs> Oh my god. The Holy Trinity. That's fucked up. <laughs> the Father, the Son, and the Holy, the Holy Spirit. Spirit. <laughs> That's fucked up. No more fucking emergency intercom references. No, I'm because, sorry. I didn't I no. didn't mean to I no see this is why I can't watch emergency intercom because I will start talking about it not unknowingly. New Patreon episode today that we do have to watch. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> no, Jake and I we were watching it last Friday when it came out because we're obviously fucking a fan's emergency intercom. Like, no fucking duh. And I'm so, not as much of a fan as you are. Oh, I, I'm, I, I'm, I have watched a lot of episodes, but but you are like a religious... I'm a super You're fan. an intercomer. I am an intercomer. Like, I... You're an intercommunist. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I am on they the. They should. They should steal, they should, they should steal yeah. that. I am on like the subreddit and everything, like reading hate comments about the both of them and getting like 
severely like riled up <laughs> or like adam will say something you're like time to switch my burner <laughs> fuck you guys i love them <laughs> and adam said something the other day and i go oh he goes brouhaha and i go oh my god drew does that <laughs> he goes who and i'm like oh uh drew, drew. Like, and he knows who drew is but like i refer to him as a friend like as if i did yes. i go oh drew said that but he says drew haha <laughs> I was like, that's, this is bad. Like, this is uh, getting. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I, I thought just... it was raining for a second. <laughs> it was just Cowboy accidentally. Um, in a bag. In a bag. Somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Accidental for us, on purpose for him. <laughs> um, no, but like, obviously, we're a fan, but we were watching the episode last week, and the whole time, like, Jake and I just stood there. Like, we were, it was like, us, our Super Bowl. Or, yeah, it's like how we watch the Kardashians. Like, right. I was like on the ground, like on my hands and knees, like staring up at the <laughs> yeah, screen. Yeah, you were in the iPad. <laughs> you were like, what if I watch every episode like this? And I was like, you definitely do. Right. And you're asking as if you don't. So it's not, so it's less embarrassing. Because you're wondering if you can start doing it in front of me now. <laughs> and uh, we're watching it. And fuck, what did they make a joke about? But it was like so so similar to ours as if we're fucking shocked as if we don't consume yeah. enough of that so that that's just kind of like what we reiterate <laughs> we yeah we and spew out i do remember because we said almost exactly the same thing but there thing. was something and i was like jake we need to stop watching this podcast because our content is starting to like <laughs> intermingle <laughs> yeah literally because and, and that's like no surprise because our brains are rotted from it yeah and so we're gonna just spit out exactly what we heard last i spent too much time listening to that podcast and reading the titles and laughing you have like yeah i've like looked through the titles and i like, haven't read a single title because all of them are like drew wants to kill himself <laughs> anya's, anya's toes anya's big juicy pussy like <laughs> something like that and you don't think that that's funny yeah it's funny i just don't need to read it because it's gonna be the same thing it's every so good. single week it's so good i want they're funny i, I want them. kaya and anya to be together i shouldn't ship people in real life but i do want them to be fall in love like i want a, what I want did kaya i say and i want Dua i want an enemies to lovers thing oh yeah Dula peep yeah, well, actually, the whole time, I was like, how is he at, with Dua We were watching the last episode, and I was mm -hmm. like, how is he with Dua Lipa? Okay, we should clarify, he wasn't, like, with Dua Lipa. He was just... He was, like, in the same room as Dua Lipa. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, how is he with Dua Lipa? I am happy that that podcast is still around, though, because, like, all my other podcasts that I listen to... Fall through. It almost wasn't. Do you remember, like, a few months ago, maybe earlier, beginning of this year or something? They almost stopped. They almost stopped. Yeah. And they were like, we're going to take an indefinite pause. And, and then the weeks. next week. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they just like went on a little week. Hey? The sponsorship had had to be posted. <laughs> but no. I do admire their their tenacity for keeping it up, though. Yeah. They, they here's the thing, though, like all my podcasts went on break for Christmas. Like the only ones that I listen to, which aren't a lot anymore. I barely listen to any. My like I just listen to like a few sinister ones that like are definitely like really bad for my mental health and like spiritual self and like state of mind and like of my physical health and um like your narcolepsy like my really bad for my like my endocrine system um <laughs> and it, it is emergency intercom in h3 mm -hmm. and so they h3 went on break for like a month it got so bad jake jake i'm not you i am so terrified of you looking in my youtube history <laughs> when you came over my house once what did you come over for to feed my cats I don't know. I'm here a lot. Yeah, you came. What, and you weren't no, here? No, and I wasn't here. It's probably when you were you, somewhere. Oh, and, and you were Christmas. Christmas. And you were, you put on No More Wire Hangers from, um. Oh, yeah, and you could see it in my, in from, your from your drag, drag race show. Yeah. From your, your. <laughs> from my drag race. Yeah, from your drag race show. And I was thinking to myself, oh my God, I hope he doesn't look at my history. I hope he doesn't look at my history. Because all my fucking history is, and my entire YouTube <laughs> for you page recommended is all, uh, traffic stop videos <laughs> and like it's all like police body cam footage which from is traffic so odd stops. which is so odd that doesn't strike me as something that would be your special interest i need to i need to clarify because i need i and i know and i i didn't either it's a cab a cab till i die obviously <laughs> I'm not going to consume Sorry. true crime content. Yeah. I, I can't. I physically can't. I already made a video against true crime. Mm -hmm. If I were to watch now, I'm a hypocrite. I don't even want to watch it. Right. So you're going to watch the truest form of crime. Well, I don't want to watch anything that's devastating or that's going to contribute to my nightmares. Yeah, but DUIs. I need to watch people getting arrested for DUIs. And I need to watch them do the same tests over and over and over again. And I there's something that is so... Um, <sighs> I'm on no one's team. Except, well, obviously, like, I'm anti 
anti-drunk driving, obviously. There. Okay, I had to clarify that. Guys, I'm anti-drunk driving. Putting that Period. out and out there in the universe. Mm-hmm. But I just had to clarify. Obviously, I also... Like, who the fuck likes cops? Well, some people love cops. But I'm just saying... <laughs> some people. <laughs> it's gotten so sick in the head and so bad at this point that I'm watching... Like, all the sponsorships on those videos are gun sponsorships. And it's... That's good, though. You want gun sponsorships. You like guns. Don't put that out there. <laughs> People are going to think they're like, this bitch likes guns. cops, guns, guns, traffic stops. <laughs> she believes in like... I'm going to Photoshop your hat red the entire no! time. No! <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just gotten really sick. And like, I, I felt myself like reaching a depressive episode. Really? From, I- from watching DUI arrests? My period was also coming. Oh. And, like, I hadn't left my house in a little bit. You're like, justice for them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just curious to see what happens in it. Because they're like, this is the craziest DUI stop ever. Is it ever really the craziest DUI stop? I don't know, stop? some of them are fucking crazy. Like, some of them are nuts. Did you see the guy jump over the jud Or jump jump over the, yes. the thing and I tackle the judge? I can't watch that kind of stuff. That makes me sad. That makes you sad? Yeah. That video was so funny. <laughs> that video was literally hilarious to me. You know what I've been watching recently? And it's all sad shit. It's what DUI stops. Natalia speaks oh, yeah. about Natalia oh, Grace. Natalia speaks. We have to talk about Natalia we, speaks. We watched a documentary together about Natalia speaks. Oh, and Gypsy Rose, like yeah. her her new documentary. I didn't. I, uh, that's what I need to watch next. Yeah, we can watch. Yeah, that. that's that's interesting. And obviously, like I wanted to to see I saw her a clip of it, side a few. of the story and stuff. Mm-hmm. But Jake and I started watching Natalia speaks. Um, you can talk about it. Oh, you want me to? Believe it or not, Wait. I'm I'm handing off the mic to you. Oh. Wow, thank you. Popcorn, me. <laughs> um, wow, thank you for the permission. I'll leave that in there so everybody knows that I'm not just like speaking over you or something. Oh, right, right. Because like, yeah, just everybody everyone, is thinking. Before Jake speaks, <laughs> just know that I do give him permission. Like, I do say. <laughs> We're passing a spoon underneath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, here. So, like, yeah, she's like, here you go. I squeeze his knee and I'm like, it's safe. <laughs> Don't squeeze my knee. Don't, <laughs> Don't be scared. That's you my can most talk. compromised part of my body is my knee. Your knee? I have very. I didn't touch it. Take a lish knees. I'm not touching your yeah, knees. I won't touch, touch my your knees. knees. You say not to touch your this knees, whole, I won't touch your this knees. This whole bathroom's coming down. There was a girl who, this is probably like a sad story, but like, it's like, it's like. I'm going to laugh, so go. Okay. <laughs> when I had this friend, I had this friend who had another friend, but like, I was always the best friend. It was like a, it was like a, it was a friendship triangle, but like, I oh, was always the best friend. I know like, who you're talking about. Yeah. And I came out on top and I don't give Are you a talking fuck. about. <laughs> no no oh, different no one? but close oh, okay. and so like I, I always came out on top and i will stand by that because this other person this the third person of the triangle is not a nice good person like this person is not oh. a this is a, a bad person racist oh. anyway she the worst kind of bad person whenever i would walk up the stairs specifically at our our point of contact friend's house like like our mutual friend's house she would always do this fucking thing where she would take her hand like this and like karate chop it up my butt cheek and she would like <laughs> oh like go and that's it, sad to you yeah because i'm like genuinely terrified of walking in front of people on the stairs so i understand <laughs> oh if you say not to touch your knee i'm not gonna fucking touch your knee i'll never do and that i to think you. about that sometimes i'm like oh my god that like really actually like genuinely because that it's i have not seen <sighs> that girl since like probably the beginning of high school and that still scars me to this day that i won't walk in front of anyone like well i will but i'm like i'm clenching my butt cheeks really fucking hard if i'm walking in front of you on the stairs well you know what you've set a boundary now and i respect it now i will not karate chop your butt cheek I know that you would want to get nowhere near my asshole. Yeah, exactly. And I know that. So that's why you're never like looking behind you when you walk up. It, when we walk up to your apartment. I feel safe around you. Good. Oh, oh, that's sweet. But your any- butt cheeks feel safe around me. But anyone else, just know. <laughs> I don't like that like thing that uh, people talk about on TikTok where like boyfriends and girlfriends. And if anybody I was ever with did this to me, I would literally be like petrified. Where it's like, it's that story, but it's a, a finger up their butthole instead. I, that should not happen. I don't like that. Unless you want it, but that's, like, like, that's like, violating. Yeah, and that's and, violating. And they're like, it's so funny. I'm like, and I'm like, don't. I have now, like, I have been in a constant clench of my butt cheeks for so long. You would think that my butt cheeks would be so strong because of that, and I would have the strongest glutes in the world. No, I have permanent indents on the side of them. There is a reason I don't have, have hips. Dimples. It's because I have permanent <laughs> deep set dimples that can only be corrected no! through extensive surgery and liposuction in order to help. Because my butt cheeks are clenched. They are locked tight. They are locked the fuck down. I've never had anybody try to do that to me. And if but, somebody did, I don't think I would be friends with them anymore no. or in a relationship and with them anymore. And there's a reason why none of us are friends with that girl anymore. 
Yeah, because she did it to me one time and I was pet. No, actually, if that ever did happen to me, I wouldn't talk about it because it would feel so violating. Oh, I know. I, I yeah. didn't start talking about it until recently. <laughs> I'm, you're very strong for putting it out into the world. Thank you. Also, but like at 24, for something to happen to you, like the last time was probably like when I was 14 and to still have that physical reaction, that really fucked me up. Yeah. And she has no idea how severely, like I would never even dream of karate chopping someone's asshole like that is so so like evil. it was like in between your butt cheeks it was like i would walk in front of her and then she would take and go ah like <laughs> she would make that noise too people used to go up to everybody and like like the guy version of that to other guys With would balls. be like no that's not what i was going to say oh. it would be like it'd be like on your breast oh I not thought, to girls i just was confused because they just, would go Scoop. you just you just kept going <laughs> oh <laughs> no guys did that to girls too yeah Oh my fucking! That, Girls have that, been, that's that sexual assault. That happened to me. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, that's let's wrong. talk about something lighter. Let's talk about the, the curious story of <laughs> Natalia. Grace. Yeah, let's move from sexual assault to abuse. Right. Um. Yeah. No. So, well, that I didn't actually, a child. I didn't actually uh, finish the documentary as we talked about. Um. Because, do I like this documentary? I can't say I like the actual making of the documentary. The story is very compelling. Yeah. And I feel very, very sympathetic for Natalia. Essentially, Natalia is a little person who was... Basically, she was adopted from... Uh, was it Ukraine? Ukraine mm -hmm. In 2000... Three. She wasn't adopted in 2003, oh, no, though. She, she was, was adopted in, like, 2008. She was born in 2003. <laughs> And then uh, adopted into this family 2009. Yes. And then the family lived with her for three years, made up like a bunch of these stories about the girl. And then just so that they could absolve themselves of any responsibility to her, made up all these stories about how she had pubic hair um, at a really, really, at, like like when they adopted her, she had pubic so hair. So she was six. So yeah, when she was six, when they adopted her. That she had her period. That she had her period. All of this stuff that they're making up. And then she they wanted legally to got her age changed. Yeah. But it, would make up lies that she was trying to kill them, yes, that she was trying to kill the family. That she was like a threat to everyone. That she was dangerous, that she was like hiding knives and like would hide in their bedroom and say that she wants to kill them and hurt them and like record videos of everything. And basically like the whole plot of the orphan. Like that's yeah, what Yeah, that's what that's what she ended up saying in the second yeah, season. Yeah, that's what the adopted mother basically she just took the plot of the orphan and they had two um three children of their own like that they had gave birth to themselves and um they were like great parents to them as mm -hmm. far like as far as we know and apparently the one <clears throat> kid the oldest kid is like a genius um he has autism and he's very very good at math and physics i think and and like got like the opportunity to go study at colleges at Canada. a really young age and in the Canada mom took and stuff. credit for that she was saying that she is like like created this savant yes, essentially yes, that she's like how how amazing that she created this genius child like yeah. from autism and couldn't speak at all and like was non-verbal to like suddenly was you know like like now is like a genius and how she is the reason for that and Basically, I don't know if you got to this part, but Natalia basically talks about in the second season how after her parents, like, uh, basically she thinks that her mom, excuse me, her mom thinks that, <laughs> <laughs> that or the woman's name is Christine. The, Christine basically had um, done this to her and kind of abandoned her yeah. and created all these lies because she did not live up to this hype that she was hoping. She was yeah. not a genius. Because she was, Christine was hoping that it was true that she did like create yeah. this genius that she could adopt then, a child with a disability and, and then do it again yeah and then create and, and like she she'd couldn't. be this like super mom because she was an author of this book called like the spark or whatever anyway it was so terrible they like uh, took got her an apartment they sent her off to a psychiatric unit mm -hmm. and while in that time without even her knowing this is so cute at the age of at like nine at the time because at they the had, age of nine because it was like the end of their responsibility to at her the, at the it might have been eight eight yeah, yeah. Not nine or ten or something mm -hmm. like that they got her re-aged so they went from and it wasn't even like like uh, one of the attorneys on the show talks about how like sometimes they do like foreign countries will like inflate the ages of certain yeah, yeah, of children yeah. that adoptive like a like adoptable children just to make it like more desirable desirable to, to have a younger parents, child right 
and a lot of people also do come into the country like for example like from where i'm from um in allentown like a big portion of the community is syrian and so a lot of people who came from syria and like immigrated here it's like a, a running joke that everyone's birthdays in the syrian community is like january, january 1st. 1st yeah you yeah did that they that all have me. like the same birthday so like that's like there's also sometimes issues with transferring paperwork so they just like choose the year and then right. just say january 1st but they got her re-aged not like not like two or three years no thir- literally 13 years 13 years which is crazy so she went from being a nine-year-old to a 22 year old and the reason that I got her specifically 22, 22, they came up with the age because they're like, well, she hasn't even grown an inch in four years. Mind you, this girl has dwarfism and and a, a like a rare case of dwarfism at that, mm-hmm. on top of that. They're like, she hasn't grown in four years. You stop growing when you're like 18. So we're going to put her at 22. The real reason she was placed at 22 is because in Indiana... I think the the year like your parents are responsible for you until 21. 21. So they put her at the age of 22. Yeah. Um some doctor signed off on it who I guess was a family friend and basically Is that what the the whole story with that mm-hmm, was? That at the end it was like it was like a doctor that they knew personally. Wow. And this doctor wrote a note and everything for And like for that the, was all that it took. The, the girl there was no even, hearing about Natalia it. Natalia didn't even have to go to court like Crazy. she was not there cuz she was in the hospital. One doctor said she's 22 or she's 22 yeah. and they just went with switched it switched her out from Fucked the child's up. unit to like the adult's unit mm-hmm. and then they took her from the adult's unit the real truth is that they said that she has nothing wrong with her like she doesn't really even need help she doesn't really need a medication or the therapy so that she can go home and the parents said that she got kicked out because she was being promiscuous with the men yeah. and that she was like enticing I do them part. And, and all this stuff anyway so as soon as she oh I know, I know I'm saying like um and like we're talking about a tragic Sorry, thing. If a you're like if you're like here. listening to yeah. just the audio version or not looking, but there's like cowboy sitting here. Um he's being very cuddly and cute. He is. But yeah, so she got sent they took her to an apartment. They bought her an they rented out an apartment for her in Indiana. Like they lived in Indiana, but in her very own apartment, which nothing was like accessible to her. Mm-hmm. Um for her as being a little person like nothing was appropriate height everything was and all the neighbors were mean oh, as fuck all the neighbors fucking hated her yeah why because they're like she has no boundaries she is rude she has no like social cues because she's nine. nine years old that she's was nine. crazy to me and then they're like she's like a sexual deviant like she was like trying to touch kids and that you know she would come into our house and eat her food and like she was dirty she smelled bad it's like because she didn't know because she was fucking nine take care of herself right she's nine she just got dropped off by her parents and her parents would like barely stop by and when they would stop by they would just like berate her the whole time it was about the littlest thing it was so sad to watch and so awful to watch and and, like she was getting coached by christine to tell yeah everyone everyone that she was 22 and that she was a dangerous person yeah. too it was so sad like her intro to everyone was like i know i look young and i know that you know i am short but i am 22 years old and i have tried to kill my family yeah literally like, that that's so fucking heartbreaking and like i i watched all of the things like the the whole two seasons within like one day because it was so sad to me and like i remember hearing about this case like i watched a lot of dr phil growing up like i watched a lot i remember see i remember hearing about this yeah. case too and i think i did watch clips of the episode and i feel like back then i was like oh wow like i can't believe they were being scammed yeah i know like literally I know. like that's how uh, it was like an unbelievable story i think it was in like magazines and stuff yeah. I, I was unfortunately like the person when my mom used to clean the gynecologist's offices um at night and she would take me along with her I would sit there and read all like the fucking tabloid magazines and like mm-hmm. all of that and so like I was kept up to fucking date come on tiger everyone. beat right no not even <laughs> no, I was no, reading no. fucking women's world <laughs> <laughs> and people and us wow oh uh. <laughs> and uh yeah I just remember this case like I remember it being a thing and I and I remember as a kid being like wow that's so creepy an old lady and like a little girl's body like she's scamming everyone what yeah. a con artist and like in reality and not second guessing it whatsoever which we were young she but. got testing done like she got a uh, genetic testing done like with her um her actual birth mother and all these different there's so much proof to go back that she was indeed in fact born around 2003 if not very closely around to that time yes and like her birth mother like, literally said like 
this was when she was born also right. michael oh my god don't even get me started on the adoptive the father, father michael the worst person weirdest in the entire fucking world. man like the way he is so excited to tell this story with like and he's so animated you can tell like the way that he interacts yeah. with this story and the way that he he, has a severe he seems victim. very disingenuous yeah. at every point also has like a severe victim complex severe like he thinks narcissism that, i think is really right. what it is like he, in in the most real sense of the word because i feel like people say like that person's really narcissistic like when people are self-absorbed he is like textbook he's like absolved narcissism. from all of his sins yes. because he blames everything on his ex-wife yep. and then like his defense it, not that he is an adult who should have kept a child safe but instead it is my ex-wife is crazy and she manipulated all of us rather yeah. than Perhaps you're an adult who should actually... Have had more responsibility. I, like, genuinely don't think that he feels, like, genuine sorrow for, like, what he did or, like, um, regret for what he did to her. And, like, I can't even imagine being Natalia. Because now she's, like, close in age with us. She's, like, what? She's, she's 20, 20 now, I think. 20, but, yeah. 20, yeah, she would be 20. Or, yeah, she'll be 21 this year. Mm -hmm. She's 21 this year. She's close in age to us. Like, that's so fun. And she has a new adopted family who seem to be, like, great and i'm very happy for her she seems very happy but like damn like i just don't think that this story is getting nearly enough coverage because i know like the whole gypsy blanchard case is getting like they are similar in a sense it's just different in the sense that like one girl got re-aged to a much higher age and was abused and neglected and then the other girl was uh <coughs> told that she was younger yeah. severely younger and basically told that she has a disability i guess like in a way their stories like, are kind of like opposites opposite. yeah they parallel each other right. in weird ways right but I think like I don't know. I just not 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 me being like oh I want them to talk to each other, but it is like kind of a little sad that like gypsies gypsies has gotten so much traction. Right, and I'm happy that it did. I'm happy that she's like bringing awareness. I'm happy like that she has to tell her story and like I'm sure she has like raised so much awareness because like I've seen other people who are like going through Munchausen by proxy and like they're like her story is like very important to me because like one out of ten yeah. kids who suffer with Munchausen by proxy like they end up dying and stuff. So it's like really important that gypsy's doing that but oh my god like now natalia who has a disability actually and like she cannot even get re-aged like it's like Dee Dee would have like loved to have natalia Absolutely. as a child like, oh my god like, because all the things that gypsy was supposed to be yeah essentially were what natalia was right like for real and it's and i'm not saying that like like, I don't think Dee Dee would have been a good mother to basically anyone. Yeah. Um, but it is so sad to see, like, the complete other end of the spectrum. How yeah. child abuse can go from... With a child who is actually genuinely in need of in medical... In need of medical, yeah. Like, she needed... So sad. Specific shoes, surgeries, all these things and things that she got neglected and did not get in her life and was, like, forced to fend for herself. It was so fucking sad, but, like, also Awful. very empowering because of the way that natalia is choosing to go about things yeah. empowering for her i mean but like the way that she is choosing she is like going about it with like a lot of grace and like yeah. a lot of like i would agree she like it said to her her adopted father like michael like she has said to him like i forgive you like she said that to him like mm -hmm. he gave the shittiest apology ever and she still was like i forgive you and like she's just going through it all with such like grace Boys, and like yeah. a, a way that i could not even begin to imagine and it's just like really interesting how like I don't know these two stories right now but like natalia's is really not getting a lot of attention and they were yeah. kind of happening around a similar time the whole gypsy yeah, and, and natalia thing true. because natalia was in the news a lot earlier in like the 2010s and stuff because huh. she was like 16 and going on like news things and like yeah, dr and phil was dr. like phil. are you are you faking it i know and i think everybody has established that dr phil does not do anything on that show does he still do no he quit right well like but back then like no, he know, wasn't actually helping anyone whatsoever um it was all like for the sound bites and stuff like yeah. that's what they did dr phil for one thing i do want to say about the documentary um i wish that it wasn't i i understand to like gain that not everybody has like the same thoughts that i do the sensationalism of it yeah loses credibility not like credibility like like the story like i believe 100 percent what like natalia is a victim in these people's terrible 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 actions yeah the people who are creating it lose credibility in my mind because everything is like so blown up like 
they they have like i think the need for like the reenactments that they do to to be happening are so uh unnecessary they're just unnecessary and i just feel like they have sensationalized it so much that they've almost like polarized people from the story and i'm not the type of person who gets polarized from that Mm -hmm. but i will say like i there are people on like reddit nicole and i are on reddit sometimes believe it or not i feel like every single time i come on here i feel like i'm exposing myself for the like the true awful person that i am i'm like i'm on reddit i'm on reddit and i used to watch dr phil literally and i read women's world (laughs) I read, I read Women's Health Magazine. What can I do? And I live in an emergency intercom. <laughs> Sue me. And H3. Sue me. Sue me. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I wish that they had taken a more serious approach to it. Because it's almost like they take it... It's, I don't know. Sometimes it's like they're making fun of it a little bit. Like, yeah. like who they cast as Natalia as a young child. It's, yeah. like, clearly an adult playing that role. Um, I get that it's probably really hard to find somebody who, like, matches Natalia as a young person. But they don't need to have those whatsoever and then they're also like for half of the first season they let michael kind of like give his story and it's like very effective because for the first part you're like oh my gosh like all this happened to this man and then like they twist it around and they every single thing that he's said did it joke on you it was god crying onto me oh every single thing that michael said ha- is like later proven completely wrong and they actually like, take footage from he was literally interviewed like four times for this um also his interaction with his here grab that um his interaction with his michael's interaction he's like michael scott with um it's like the office with his uh with his lawyers i hate them you know he's like these guys are my best friends yeah yeah literally literally like, michael scott would do that he's like i love you and i love yeah the lawyers and the lawyers said- are like <laughs> but also all the lawyers, the lawyers all the lawyers they don't go to hell. terrible fucking people everybody who was on the defense terrible fucking people just awful like I'm, we're gonna leave this in jake and i we were on we were literally i was talking to you while i was driving but like we were on the phone with each other and we both had the same thought at the exact same time we weren't even like, in the same was, place at the same time and like jake was like they should explode yeah like, literally we, I, I, and you were like i was just gonna say that <laughs> i was like, like they need to explode there's nothing else i can possibly think of that could be a better punishment for them other than they should just explode, explode. they're evil the, and fucking sinister the way that they interacted with the fucking um they were trying to make natalia seem like she was like this vengeful evil yes. evil adult woman they who wouldn't was, let anybody bring up age in the yeah. um in like any of the trials or whatever yeah. they were awful fucking people and not only did they not let anybody bring up age they were so aggressive toward the people who almost did yeah. and at one point one of the one of the neighbors the ones who actually care about yeah. natalia when she moved to lafayette yeah was like was like you're not gonna fucking ma'am me oh, my yeah. name is i forget what her name was but it was like something like kayla and she was like i or miss blah 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 like you're not gonna ma'am me and then yeah. her husband's like over the I will uh fuck you up. yeah he's like, i'll fuck you up and she's like <laughs> shut up <laughs> but it was like uh, it's ter- the whole scenario sucks I it know. sucks and i feel so strongly for natalia and I hope that... Because there was a whole court case that Natalia basically got... After the first apartment, she got rehomed to Lafayette, Indiana. And her mom's... Her ad- her adopted mom, Christine... I don't know if you got to this point, Jake. But her adopted mom, Christine's mentality for that was... And what she said to Michael was, let's send her to Lafayette because that is a white trash town. And that's what she is, white trash. And that no one will notice <laughs> that, like anything is going on and so they will like let her skate by like Mm -hmm. they will not care if like oh is this a child living in in an apartment all alone she was living in like a two-floor walk-up yeah um apartment where like no electricity sometimes struggles to get upstairs struggles to get upstairs gunshots literally in the interview like it was a dangerous neighborhood a dangerous area like it was all so terrible and then she would just go over to people's houses or to various things and then she didn't end up getting basically discovered or like saved until she went to like an adult learning center and then she kind of talked about her situation and then a family came in that actually wanted to help her but it's just like it's funny that like the one place that she's like this is a white trash area and then that's the that's that's the the area that actually because the other place that they sent her wasn't like didn't look like like a wealthy neighborhood whatsoever but it definitely was full of people who had a sense of entitlement in that area and so they didn't want they were not they were like inconvenienced yeah by natalia yeah 
She's annoying. She's annoying. She, but no one cares. She's needy. Yeah. Of course she is. She's taking our food. Yeah. She won't stop talking to us. She won't stop calling us. Oh, yeah. that's kind of like behaviors all of that. A child. Of a child. And like, nobody, nobody bothered to look into anything anymore. And even the old woman was like saying that Natalia is like a terrible person or whatever. But she, she, she was helping her bringing groceries like one of the first days that yeah. Natalia had moved into that. Yeah. That, uh, um, it's to make apartment. herself feel like a better person yeah. that she was like there and then when it got brought up to the old woman they're like it's actually there's proof that natalia is actually like she was a child when she lived here she's like nope she's faking it like she's yeah, you know why them. because that makes her look like a terrible person absolutely yeah. absolutely after saying all those terrible <clears throat> things about her i did the same shit when i was a kid like not yeah. to that not extent like, because I, I was not unsupervised right. but like I would go over to my neighbor's house. Like, I would ask my mom, can I go to the neighbor's house? And I would go to the neighbor's house, maybe probably a little too often. Like, mm-hmm. I would, like, just, like, knock on the door and be like, I'm here. Let's yeah, I play. did that when I was like, younger, too. Yeah, like, that's what I don't kids think kids do that do. anymore. Right, right. It's like, like I knew everybody's my, on their phones. I knew my neighbors, and, like, like my like neighbors damn were... kids are always on their phones. They're right, not going right. over their neighbor's houses anymore. Right. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> I, I knew my neighbors, and they were kids, and so, like, I would go hang yeah. out and, like... They're like, okay, well, we're eating dinner. I'm like, yum, what's for dinner? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, and I would eat too. And like, I mean, I just did shit like that. And it wasn't the end of the world. But like, I mean, that's what kids I do. I on doors be like, can, can Michael hang out? Yeah, literally. I yeah. would repeatedly call sometimes my friends if they wouldn't answer the house phone. I'd be oh, like, yeah, I was can you log on to kid. Webkins? Literally. Let's go on Webkins at seven o'clock. And then we would. Literally, I'd be like, I'd be like, can we meet at the park? <laughs> I'll bring a basketball. <laughs> 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 yeah it was crazy i don't know that poor poor girl though i just i, I know I, I wish the best for her i hope she writes a book one day i know to tell like her full side of the story and everything everything you know like i want to hear i want to know without the bias of michael and all those people yeah. and, and the producers and stuff yeah. i want her to have written something it's time for me to stop consuming content that's going to make me sad did it make you sad it made me enraged yeah, I literally sat there in front of my, my computer. I've never done this. I felt this was the first time that I actually <clears throat> felt like I was like, I'm becoming my mother. I literally <laughs> sat there in front of my computer screen. And I like propped myself up on one elbow and I went, I'm like, shit. My, <laughs> like at the laptop. I'm completely. You're like, alone. I was so angry. I shook my head. <laughs> <laughs> I completely was alone. And I was like, and so I occasionally. I pursed my lips and shook right, my head. Occasionally I would go, oh, like. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. I know. Are you okay after that? Did, did. Did you like? Did it's you get a headache? Me. I think I need to start consuming different kinds of content because it, it's something bad is going to happen to me. Like I have to cut out like you know true crime content or like when we used to watch um, what's it called? JCS. Yeah. I love JCS. Yeah, but that shit. You know what that does to your brain? Evil stuff. No, but I like JCS's take on true crime because it's not like a bunch of random people getting interviewed or whatever. It's just the interrogation analysis. And then and I, then obviously yeah they like tell you what happened but. And then everyone's like, oh, why haven't I seen Nicole in a few weeks? And it's like, Nicole... Her arms J- were cut off. Her <laughs> legs were cut off. <laughs> Nicole watched JCS Psychology, and now she can't get out of bed. Yeah. So th- there's, like, no happy meat. Like, what am I supposed to consume? You can watch, like, video game I playthroughs have- like I do. No, no, no. Oh. Oh, Sims 3. Yeah. Oh, oh my yeah. God, Sims 3. You should consume Sims 3. I should. <laughs> I got a new TV console today so I can watch even more television at like a more appropriate angle. You can watch GTA 5 roleplay. Or is it GTA 6? I don't no, know. No, that's going to make me sad because people die in there. No, 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 no. People, people get run over. People do anything in there. Exactly. Can, that's going to make nice me sad. Ones. No, I should start playing GTA, but I should be a nice person and like yeah. drive on like the and, like, correct side of the, the road. Speed limit, yeah. not, don't steal cars or yeah. anything. Yeah, that's a great idea. I'm sure that there's Is there like an like objective that. to that game? I don't know. Grand Theft Auto. Oh, oh, is that what it stands for? GTA, yes. Wow. Okay, are you a gamer? I used to play Grand Theft Auto. I used to play um, Black Ops. You said that like the most like for the guys, girl. I love Black like, Ops. I used to play, oh my God, it was like, um, is it Vanessa Hudgens? Yeah. It's, like, it's like Vanessa Hudgens says. <laughs> Sorry. It's like Vanessa. She's like, I used to play Grand Theft Auto. I need to clarify. That's Debbie Ryan that you're That's thinking That's it. Of. You, Debbie Ryan, did it. Because I looked up to Debbie Ryan like she was my messiah when I was a kid. I need to clarify that that wasn't my genuine laugh. That was me making fun of Vanessa Hudgens laughing oh, on Dragula. Oh, you making fun of Vanessa Hudgens. <laughs> yeah. Bad things are going to happen. Like, it's sad, but like, inevitable. inevitable? She was weird for that. I was explaining to you that I think Vanessa Hudgens is a weird person in general. And that, well, whatever. Anyway. 
are you done like in your like hating women era because that's what it seemed like like you just like went on this whole tangent for like five minutes you were like oh you seem like one of those girls that's like for the guys and then you were like oh like you're like a pick me and then you're like oh vanessa hudgens fucking weird like when is it time for you to start liking and appreciating women when will that time come it's tough i'll I'll see if i can fit it into my schedule okay yeah please do um do you know what jelking is jelking jelk jelk maxing gooning oh i've been jelk maxing gooning you said that i look really good recently and i told you you don't want to say that (laughs) jelk maxing do you know what jelk maxing is jelk maxing i learned about it recently jelk hold on let's break it down try to spell it first of all go ahead j-e-l-k no jelk Jelk. Try again. G E L K. Nope. Try again. G L C K. Try again. You're getting farther away from it. Oh, me. like way far. <laughs> you were closest with your first guess. J E L C K. Nope. J E. Um. It doesn't fucking matter. Like, what is this gonna do? J E L Q. Oh, okay. Jelk. Jelk. Okay. I'm. Guess. Guess okay. what it is. Define it. Okay. Define jelk. Um. Like, can I? Can I use it in a sentence? Like, can like, you use it in a sentence? Yeah, or can if I, I said like I'm like no, I'm gonna use it in a sentence. Okay, go ahead. Like if I'm like if I'm like jelking everywhere like today <laughs> like, and I and I just can't stop jelking like my mm-hmm. jelking is like getting out of control like my jelking got so bad that my mom had to like call a doctor because yeah. she was like the jelking is getting too much like it's starting to stain all the clothes no. and, and like he can't go to school anymore. I'm, I'm he. assuming <laughs> I assume it's it's a man thing. Oh. Yeah um and like it's being like really disruptive to our everyday life like he can't stop jelking at the dinner table yeah and then maxing it's like you're trying to like make it the best possible mm-hmm. okay so that's right jelk maxing is like trying to jelk as hard as you po- possibly can yeah, it is trying to jelk as hard as you can but okay jelking... try, try no don't tell me yet okay, okay can i like can <laughs> d- hold on can i jelk max no Okay, so it has to do with the peepus. I mm-hmm. knew it. Okay. Can I use it as a for you? Yeah. Okay, here. Oh my god, it's so big. Thanks. I've been jelk maxing. So you're stretching it out. Yes! Are you serious? Yes! Isn't that crazy? There are people who do that. How? They pull on it. Like, not... <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm lying. I heard about jelk maxing from um, TikTok. You think I'm like, no, I swear are to God. No, people are actually doing it? I don't know if people are actually doing it or if it's like a gooning thing where like they're lying in. What is gooning? Gooning is edging. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you're jelk, oh. you'd goon while you jelk max? You jelk max and goon. Wait, is gooning good? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's a very philosophical question of you. <laughs> is gooning good for you? I think, I think Socrates actually wrote about it. So why are we, why do we call like people who are like, like a little bad like they're like oh those goons over there i don't know i feel like gooning recently has been on the up and up like like tattoos and piercings it's okay to goon now yeah but no one knows if you're gooning if like if you have tattoos and piercing people can visibly see that you are but like can anyone see that you're visibly gooning well sometimes i'm yeah. sure <laughs> <laughs> i don't know if people can see if you're joking oh if you're joking the proper way then i should be able to see through your pants <laughs> wait okay so yeah they pull on it to that you think i'm lying and that's like like i don't know if people are actually doing that but from tiktok somebody was like well somebody said like it was like that that filter where it makes your face like really really chiseled Mm -hmm. and you look like crazy and it's like and they're like me jelk max gooning or whatever and then i was and then the little blue the blue um the blue search thing was like what is jelking Mm -hmm. and i was like okay yep i'm gonna figure that out because i'm confused i'm gonna vagina max today you are yeah how are you gonna do that my goal is i think i think here's the things that would make because you know how there's like criteria for like looks maxing like it's like the whitest teeth possible jawline clear skin smell good great hair like all these different yeah. things so okay here's the criteria for the perfect vagina i just want to i just want to go on record and believe and say that i personally believe that all vaginas are perfect really do you do you know is this the same man that like episode two was like i hate vaginas i didn't say i hate now. vaginas i said i'm scared of them <laughs> and people are like he's anti-vagina somebody did say that yeah. <laughs> yeah. and you know what yes. and what about it he is <laughs> no it, i'm not anti-vagina i just don't want like that around my kids and like, don't do that around the things me. that you did in high school i saw the rallies that you went to i saw the, the anti-vagina, anti-vagina rallies. rallies that you went to yeah oh wow 
I saw. No, I'm I'm a big proponent of wearing those pink hats that look like chowder no, hats. Don't lie. Don't lie. Do you know those pink hats? Yeah, I fucking know those pink yeah. hats. I I've have been a- to a Planned Parenthood. Have you? Yes, actually. I went to a Planned Parenthood with um, a friend of mine in high school. Damn, I was really young that I went to it. Not, 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 okay. What did okay. you, you didn't do, did you do something there? No, my friend was like, oh. <laughs> so here's the full story because it's actually really funny. <laughs> I, okay. <laughs> I, I really wanted to see the mayor's house. <laughs> <laughs> the mayor? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, so th- this might be weird if it gets back to the girl, but I went to school with the mayor's daughter. And, oh, man. And her house was, like, really, really beautiful and, like, really colorful and stuff, and all my friends lived in, like, Center City because that's just like where the middle schools were but i didn't live in center city and so i like could not walk home after school like all my friends could Mm, walk home mm, and like they mm. knew the area really well but i didn't because it was like very new to me and further out for me and so that was in my side of town so everyone's like oh the mayor's house is so nice the mayor's house is so nice it's like really colorful and like blah 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 blah." me at the time like me who fucking loves celebrities (laughs) Because I watched a lot celebrities. of people. The or mayor would, is a celebrity. I would go home and it's watch. The mayor's daughter. I would watch ED News and, <laughs> and read People oh and Us God. Weekly and all that bullshit. I was obsessed as like a 13 year old with the idea of like, oh my God, a celebrity. And, like, <laughs> and so in my head, the like, mayor. yeah, the mayor was a fucking celebrity <laughs> to me. And I didn't know the mayor's daughter yet. We didn't have any classes together yet, but everyone. You were like, by God, I'm going to know her. Well, my friend was like, my friend said to me, she goes, I, I like live right next to the mayor's house. And I was like, I want to go to the mayor's house. And so she's like, okay. So we're we're going to the mayor's house after school and i like canceled like i didn't go to field hockey practice on purpose it was like indoor field hockey practice Wait, and how it was in the old winter. were you 13 oh 13 and i went 13 <laughs> i went i i had indoor field hockey practice but i skipped it that day i would skip to like i was like a bad girl like sometimes i would like skip to do bad things like go to the mayor's house my field hockey coach was the most terrifying woman of all time like she had like see i just don't find women terrifying no no this was the most terrifying women <laughs> woman of all time like this woman had physically <laughs> assaulted all of us like this woman had gripped me up by like my jersey and like had called me a stupid fucking worm and like thrown me like she's a scary scary no woman. wonder all your teammates were lesbians why i'm sorry or no wonder all your teammates were gay <laughs> <laughs> No wonder all your teammates were part of the LGBTQ community. <laughs> yeah, we were. Because uh, <laughs> because that's, like, hot. <laughs> <laughs> not from her. Not from her. Oh. She was scary. But I skipped my indoor field hockey practice, and I would sometimes, like, do bad things, like go to the mayor's house, or mm-hmm. sometimes I would go to a boy's house with his mom present there. Like, oh, good. <laughs> you were almost a bad example right. on the internet. And so I... <laughs> I was like, yeah, let's go to the mayor's house. Let's go to the mayor's house. And I was, like, really excited. The and mayor, it was, like, was the mayor of a boy? The mayor was a boy. So you went to a boy's house without... No, no, no. Because there was a... What's it called when you get um, rerouted somewhere? A... a What's it called when you have to go somewhere? Detour. A detour. There was a fucking detour to Planned Parenthood instead of the mayor's house. Point is, um, that was like really sad for me. Because I never got to fucking see the mayor's house. You didn't? No, so to Justice. This, no, Justice so, must be served. So I got really scared. I got really scared because I remember my mom called me. She and goes... She's like, where are you? She's like, Nicole, coming to pick you up. And I'm like... And I'm like, I'm at the mayor's house. And she's like, okay, coming to the mayor's house around the corner. And I'm like, fuck. And like, I had to like give her the exact like street address because like whatever. And we're like sprinting out of Planned Parenthood to like get there so that my mom wouldn't know that I was out of Planned Parenthood when I was like 13 years old. Do you think your mom honestly would have cared that much? Yes. Because she would have been like, what the fuck would are you? Would she have believed you? If, if you were like, I was just going because they if were. If my mom saw me that I skipped field hockey practice to go with two alternative looking pretty girls to, to, to the Planned Parenthood while I said I'm at the mayor's house, it does look sketch. Like she was. No, I mean like, no, no, no. I mean like, do you think your mom would have cared if you were just like, oh, like Rachel had to stop for her birth control at the Planned Parenthood. Um... Maybe because, like, she was probably... Sorry, I just assume that you have, like, a Lorelai and Rory Gilmore relationship with your mom. No, I think at the age of 13, she would have been paranoid. She's like, well, if your cool alternative friends are having sex, you must be. But that was, like, very untrue because I was, like, the wannabe alt-looking girl. Like, I wasn't, like, the actual one. You were wannabe alt-looking? Yeah, I was, like, the... You were? Yeah. Oh, wow. Like, wannabe... When did that stop? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, 
No, no, no. I mean, because when I met you in college, I wouldn't. That's not how I would have described you. That was you. my. That was my like. Um, that's what I'm asking. Like that when, was like my sorority girl face. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Yeah. When did the alt stop? Probably when I dyed my hair blonde, senior year of high school. Oh wow. When I got a, my first balayage. The summer you realize you. The summer you became pretty or something like that oh so you think i was ugly before yeah no i'm just saying like like that's I, wasn't that her journey on that show i don't know i don't watch like shows like that like i watch you don't watch shows about I, high schoolers i watch no because i watch shows about about real issues and real things like about like child mouth. abuse and big mouth. <laughs> <laughs> real issues and real things like homer monsters and mons pushing literally i i told jake i was like yeah i finished big mouth really sad he's like why I was, I was like oh was the ending sad you're like it was just so good and it's over i have nothing else to watch now we gotta rewatch it you've never seen it i'm not gonna watch it i like the one thing i'm so you. sick and tired of having like men in my life who don't want to do things that i want to do like i need more like adam does things that i want to do and stuff but like what about the other men in my life i do everything adam doesn't want to do what doesn't he want to do move furniture he does want to do that. He wants to do 8 that. PM. I have never asked you to move furniture past 8 no, PM. No, that's not true. I've only asked you to drill holes into the wall to hang <laughs> up a TV at 1 AM once. And go back and forth from, from Philly to that New Jersey. That was your idea. But you, but what I am saying is that I, I do. I've been a good gay. I need a new gay. New gay. I said weighing yourself is so toxic and should only be done before <laughs> and after a poop to see how heavy it was. Parentheses, I had a 3.7 pound poop the other day. This is I said, this is why they teach math in schools. Jake and I are on the phone now. The only time that we call each other is like, hey, I'm in Whole Foods. I'm like, you should get fiber. You should get silly yeah. musk. And did it work? You're not taking it good enough. <laughs> oh, wow. It's, it's really me. Do you remember that time a few years ago? <laughs> like two summers ago? Maybe last summer. Well, I, I don't happened? remember when. What happened? I mean, you're going to have to get most... Yeah, do I remember that time two summers ago? Or last summer? Poop? No. Do you remember when you went on a date and I cried? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that You wrote that down in your notes? You're such a mess. I, a mess? I was like, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I was worried about you. <laughs> because you were like... You were so... You, I was like, oh, my God. Like... Like, I'm gonna, like, I don't know. I was just, ups like, I was, like, I've upset her. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, <laughs> I, uh, Jake went on a date a few years ago, or maybe last year. I don't really remember when. It was, like, two years ago. And you went on a date, and I, when I am before my period, not to say that I only care about you before my period, but oh, there's something you. sinister and evil that happens beforehand where everything becomes irrational, like, I had a TikTok pop off where I was like crying on the toilet like on Christmas Day, and thank God I was because you know. And did you filmed? Oh, oh, mm -hmm, oh, good mm -hmm. for you. Thank you. And so like. Yeah, what content? Right, I'm grateful for it in a sense, but one of those times where like you're unexplainably crying and like sobbing and like don't know why and you're really emotional. Jake went on a date. I was really worried about him, and you were saying some questionable things. But it wasn't even that questionable. It wasn't even that bad. This was, like, before I stopped, like, drinking. You you say that as if you had a problem. <laughs> no, I didn't. No, but, like, like, like what I'm saying is, like, I was, like, not sober at the time. So, I was, like... Yes, yes, So, I was, yes. like, not in, like, and you said something that my, like, right state of mind. You said something that now would make me laugh so hard. But at the time, I was so distraught and so sad. And I literally was, like... Maybe I don't know Jake as good as I, I thought I knew him. Maybe he doesn't really want to be my friend. And I just sobbed because was I was so worried for you. And I remember taking a picture to remember how stupid I felt. Yeah, and you sent it to Adam. And then like three <laughs> weeks later, we were walking in the park and you were like, this was from the other night when I cried. And I love that photo so much because I look at that sometimes. I was like and I'm worried. Like, no, because I have to take those photos at least once a month. And then, oh, like, okay. I know the context to each cry. During, during your pre-period. Yeah, yeah. To know the context of why I, like, why I was sobbing so profusely like that. Like, if you would have told me that the reason that I was crying like that so severely on Christmas Eve was because of a wine bottle opener. Like, that's fucking insane. But is that the funniest thing in the world? Yes. That's so funny. He watches this. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Just don't they? They said that they have. Let's see. If you are the person who gets <laughs> <laughs> This is a test? Let's see. 
I'm sorry, did 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 the other person ever say anything to him? If you were the person who gave me a wine bottle opener on Christmas, even though you know that I don't drink wine, uh, and you're seeing this part of the podcast, um, shoot, shoot, shoot me a text. a text. Shoot me a text. But we'll if not, then I'm free reign to talk about whatever I want to. Good. It's funny now. It's fucking funny now. I know, but it's he, hilarious. he still doesn't know. He doesn't know. And I didn't say anything bad. Yeah, but you're saying it on the podcast. I didn't say anything of- bad yet. Oh, okay, go ahead. I just said it was You said you cried on the toilet because of it. I did. Oh, because you were happy. I was so happy about getting a wine (laughs) bottle opener. (laughs) So happy. (laughs) Okay, well, I mean, we'll... Oh, Oh my God. (gasps) My eye peeled off! Ah! (laughs) I'm just kidding. (laughs) One time, Jake... I'm going to expose you. One time, (laughs) Jake... (laughs) Jake is contact fell out onto the sidewalk of the philadelphia streets oh yeah in front of an ice cream shop and jake picks it up holds it the whole time we walk to cvs you get solution you don't even clean your hands or the contact lens and you put it back in and at that moment i was like sick do you want to know why no because i'm out of contacts contacts are fucking expensive yeah, i wear you know i'm what? wearing this pair of contacts for three months do you know what happens on the sideway on the sideway on the sidewalk you know what i walked past the other day Dog on the piss. sidewalk no human shit i okay, walk past and, human shit all the time and look, look at and me. then and then you're gonna have pink eye and be Fine. like why look and i actually didn't get pink eye from that experience but i've gotten styes before but none were any correlation to that time you could have had sand in the little lens that's why I got I got oh, solution. solution. Oh, so that healed everything. Okay, well I'm just trying to warn you because I literally <laughs> saw human shit on the street like for like two weeks in a row in the same spot, over and over. You again. saw it or you fresh. did it? Fresh. How fresh? Seconds ago. I told you to stop talking about it on air. <laughs> you you brought it up. Okay, but we I thought we were gonna go along with the bit that like oh I watched someone else do it oh, and that like it was someone, someone else's, else's shit pooping. and like that I didn't do it on the street. Do you know how much it weighed? 3.7 pounds no definitely didn't <laughs> we should have a competition <gasps> oh my god we should we should we should way okay our next poop i don't have a scale at home so i have you're to... so you're so like you're so pure and like wholesome and like <laughs> mentally and, like, healthy healthy yeah <laughs> uh, i'll buy you a scale no <laughs> <laughs> like so you can get sick like me yeah uh, i'll do it no, I'll, don't. I'll do it before i go to the gym oh but then i won't know how much i weigh before the what the gym before the poop yeah you have to know do it at the gym no at the gym. <laughs> no no okay, here. because some people do shit in the gym bathrooms and there's showers in there and you know the smell of shit mixed in with nice shower body wash it's sinister okay you know what i'll have a competition with viewers if you I'll poop at your house you can poop at my house yeah no but it's not like i'm gonna do i'm gonna do a week of measuring okay starting <laughs> today monday january 15th okay i will weigh my first poop of the day i'll weigh myself before and after my first poop of the day take the difference Mm -hmm. and that will be my poop amount and then after is it dripping on you (laughs) (laughs) and then after five days so till friday you'll find the average i will take my average and if you have beaten my average I don't know, like, congratulations or I something. I will need a scale just to do this for, with you. <laughs> I, I will get a scale. For five days. Hmm? Deal, if you can beat... I'll return that shit we'll to see. Bed Bath & Beyond. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, ooh. wait. New thumbnail idea? We're like... <laughs> <laughs> Our new competition. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. And then we'll Beautiful. take that. We'll add, like, like the the boxing like, gloves boxing gloves and then like the uh the like little like crack seam that they did on like mm. epic rap battles of history mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah okay i'm excited for this okay so viewers can go along well, comment what you don't want to do it with viewers oh like their their amounts yeah yeah no no, no i don't want all your amounts don't send me that i want <laughs> no no actually actually send me all of your amounts okay actually i want to see everyone's biggest amount like I want to oh, see. Oh yeah, yeah! Oh my God! Perfect! Oh, I'll make a Google form. <laughs> I'm gonna make a Google form, okay? And you fill it out at the end of the at, on that on that Friday. I want your mean, median, and mode of and your poop. I will. I will. If you beat my average poop, I will. <laughs> I'll shout you out on the next podcast okay. episode. I will shout out. I'll shout out all the stats, like the mean, mm-hmm. the median, the mode, the range, and. You know, obviously the 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 biggest poop. 
That's the mode. Whoever takes the biggest poop. It's not about, like, I want average, but, like, if you took the biggest poop, sure, I'll give you a shout-out, too. I'm actually feeling pretty competitive, and I don't normally feel competitive. <laughs> I know. This has ignited a fire. I'm going the, to this is, gonna, this is our yearly tradition now. Gonna, January 15th of every year, this is what we're doing. <laughs> Fuck. I'm going to put into my, um, my neighborhood's, like, Facebook group and be like, can I borrow a scale from anyone for a week? <laughs> And you know someone will. Someone will. Or I could ask my hot neighbors if I can go in and weigh myself. And then I'm like, okay, I'll be back in two minutes. Because <laughs> it won't take me long. <laughs> I'll um, be get right it, back. Get your, get your data notarized by um, Unless someone you scales trust. are triggering to you. Oh, yeah. Don't then, do that. Then don't do That's that. That's what I said. I said it's really toxic. Like, scales are toxic and you shouldn't be weighing yourself. It's Unless bad. Unless it's before and after you Unless poop. it's before and after you poop. So that you feel proud of yourself. Yeah. And so you can go, yay! Yay! So, yeah, let us know. If you want to partake, you don't have to. No, um, actually, legally, everyone here has to partake. <laughs> yeah. <if you're laughs> legally, everyone here. I'll make a Google form. We'll put it in the, um, I'll put it in the <laughs> thing of this. But I guess maybe we should start it Tuesday because this episode is probably going to come out past everybody's first poop of the day. You said this episode should come out Tuesday? This No, no. I said maybe we should start the competition oh, sure. on Tuesday and end it on Saturday. Yeah, okay, from Tuesday to Tuesday Saturday. Tuesday to Saturday. So, like, hopefully you watch this episode in a timely manner. Right. Um, I'm looking through my notes, and in here I have um, a chicken a lordy. Oh, because it sounds like a dish? <laughs> <laughs> ah, can I get the chicken a lordy? <laughs> Why did we say chicken a lordy? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Mm. A plate of chicken and lordy sounds real good right now. You don't hit the spot. Some chicken and lordy. <laughs> I really love a big, nice, fat, juicy chicken and lordy right now. Breast or thighs? Always thighs. <laughs> chicken and lordy uh, thighs. Always thighs. Always thighs. Always thighs. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see what else I have. Oh, I want to start carrying around one of those rich tubes that people have around their neck that are supposed to be like people's urn stopping vaping that it's like basically a straw you're not talking about people who carry their people like their family's ashes on their i'll necklace. take one of those too <laughs> i'm looking for more jewelry there's so. a necklace like that like yep. like where you blow through it or you blow into it that's a rape whistle no it's supposed to be for vaping huh. like like you're not actually vaping it's so that you can beat the are habit are they cute yeah, kind of. Honestly, oh, I'll buy one. Well, sometimes um, there's like really there's like amber necklaces that people have been giving to their babies. I've seen it on like TikTok pages, and it's like warning: amber necklaces can kill your babies. Why? And like I've been like really scared of that ever since. Like, and that I don't you're even gonna kill your baby. And I don't even have a fucking baby, but like warn your sister. Wait, no, why? no. Why amber does necklaces. amber kill babies? I don't know. They might have eaten it. What's wrong with her? <laughs> <laughs> they eat the amber necklace. I think I don't we, remember. I don't should, remember. Don't quote me on that. Should we just get into know. gemstones? Us? Yeah. Like um, Travis Kelsey. Like is he into like, gemstones? Well, yeah, and like in Webkins, like him. You're like this is a good <laughs> find. I want a W gemstone, like the rainbow one. Ooh, I yeah, want yeah. that in my life. I wanted to eat that when I was younger. I did too. Yeah. It looked like delicious. I wanted to like eat a that man. Good ass ring pop. The one, not like. Not like a random man, like the man who was in like the Webkins, like like the the dog. You wanted to eat him? You want to eat a dog with a mustache? Like in the same way that I would love chicken and lordy. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> you want to eat the dog? <laughs> <laughs> you want dog meat? Dog a lordy. Anyway. <laughs> Anything else in your notes? Oh my god, you have so much that you haven't even talked about yet. Well, I don't want to just say these off the top of my head. Well, like, you already talked about a few of those. How could I? Okay. Not today. How can I? How can I casually bring like some of these things up, like without you know just That's like seeming point. like? Well, do you have any segments? Segments. Yeah, because you were saying you wanted to do segments. Yeah, you know what? I should teach you the Polish word of the day. For, what is it? We're gonna teach poop today. Is we're gonna poop? teach poop. Yeah, because caca. since we're no, <laughs> since, it's not caca. <laughs> no. Damn. Since we're doing the poop competition. Oh, this is good. Oh my god, Jake! We literally said this is n we're done. Like being compared to emergency intercom. Do they no not do a poop, poop joke? They didn't do a poop competition. Okay, but like we were literally absolved from our like poop jokes and like being like, oh, at least they don't do that. And now it's like, yeah, these bitches are having a poop competition, <laughs> poop weight competition. <laughs> Whatever. They would never. They don't have the organizational you power. Know, yeah, we're going to watch the Patreon after this. And, and they're, they're going to be like, poop competition. <laughs> no, this is this is the this is the Talk Nasty to Me first annual poop 
Poop Smackdown Extravaganza. <laughs> <laughs> poop. No, we need a better name for it. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> the Poopaganza. The Poopaganza? Okay, fine. Sure. I like that. Oh, or better yet, we could do the Polish. The Kakazanza. No, no, we're going to do the Polish word for it. The Polish word for poop is Koopa. So the Koopaganza. The Koopaganza. Yeah. I love it. Oh, fun. I love it. Everybody, welcome to this year's first, first Koopaganza. <laughs> Ew, Jake! You're not even doing it with me. I know, but I just hate the way that you look and the sounds that you're in. <laughs> Did your parents smoke cigarettes? No. Really? No. Like, ever? No, but I had one time when I was really young, I did have, like, a really terrible nightmare that my dad did start. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? <laughs> You know, some people's parents are murdered, Jake. I've had, <laughs> no, I've, but like genuinely throughout my entire life, I've had like a terrible, terrible relationship with like being petrified of substances. That's why when people, like yeah, I didn't do it. substances in high school or anything they like that, anxiety I was that. so scared about it. Well, you, you, I know, I, it's like dripping. My pants are all wet. I'm sorry. We no, can switch sides okay. one day. No, like, no, 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 no. I've been, I've been um, gelf maxing on this side of my face. <laughs> Wait, what? You no one in your family smoked? When Nobody you, in my family smokes. Ever, but smoked in the past. Has ever. Like when you were a kid? Mm -mm. Family friends? Mm, no. Hmm. I wasn't around a lot of cigarette smokers. That's weird. Why? I don't know. You just like <laughs> give off the energy of someone who's like adult, put out a cigarette butt into your soft spot <laughs> as a baby. <laughs> <laughs> that was mean. <laughs> Those, why if, why if that happened to you like this is now the time to <laughs> it's time to come clean no that's like this never is a safe me. space right i mean here. maybe maybe when i was a baby but i wouldn't remember i was just a baby well when does your soft spot close oh my god you know what though nobody's ever done that but you know those things in cars in old cars that you would push in you put your finger in there no i didn't put my finger in there it it like fell onto the ground of the car one day what, the cigarette lighter yeah it like it like popped out and fell onto the ground and i did not know that it was hot so when I picked it up, it burnt like an entire hole into my um, middle finger when I picked it up. Wow. Yeah. And I still had to go to church. You're like in the... Right after. Nobody took me to like the hospital or anything. I was... I literally like... Went, like I was... Ah! You're like Billie Eilish like, in the Zanny music video. Oh, is that what happened to her? Yeah. She gets like a bunch of cigarette burns. Really? Yeah. Is that why you think I give the energy of somebody who's had a cigarette put out on them? No, not on you. On your soft spot. <laughs> What's my soft spot? You don't know what your soft spot is? Like when I was a baby, like my head? Yeah. Oh, no, that's never happened to me. Did that happen to you? You, you wouldn't know because like you were a baby. <laughs> right. But nobody in my family smokes. Hmm. I would just like ask like when you get home, like I if will, any of your like family ask. friends yeah. or like you're, your you great, great parents it's, it's or like their friends. It's bring that up because my dad actually called. Can you call your dad? He's busy. No, I don't think he is. No, he, remember he was like, he was like, we're cooking dinner. Yeah, they're cooking Leland. dinner. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that they're busy. Well, they're probably putting out a cigarette on Leland's side right now. <laughs> We were at, Sof no, not Sephora, Alta mm -hmm, the other day, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, maybe I should try retinol, and my mom literally won't let me. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what do you mean your mom won't let you? Oh, well, I don't know. Somebody who thinks that they have, like, parental, like, control over me won't let me. Who, me? Yes, you. <laughs> I told you not to get fucking retinol <laughs> because I can give you retinol. You want retinol? I'll give you retinol. Okay, thanks. Okay, after this, I'll give you retinol. You want to do retinol? You want to do retinol after this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want to... Do a line of retinol? Yeah. Yeah, I do. You promised me when we were kids that you would never <laughs> you buy retinol. Please. Please stop for me. Please, no more retinol for me. <laughs> All the 10-year-olds are doing it. I have to. Yeah, their skin is going to be fucking like... Glass. Glass. Like the, the SpongeBob when he's like clear. Like like when We've he's like, hi, I'm normal. Before. Have we? Yeah. Not when he's clear, when he's normal, but oh, yeah. no, I know what you were talking about in that episode. You're talking about when they went to the future and everything was like chrome. chrome. You Why would have loved chrome? it there. I would have loved it there. You would have there. loved it there. Why is everything chrome? You know what? <laughs> I think Julia Casablancas would have loved this place. I, I think I like this place. This chrome is like really doing it for me. <laughs> see myself in the reflection. That's literally you. That's why Nicole. That's truly the reason why why you buy Chrome stuff, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because you can see yourself in it. Yeah. That's beautiful. Not all. See, normal people would be like, "She's a narcissist. She's a narcissist." But that's not even what narcissism is. 
you called me a narcissist when I asked you if maybe I am God. And you were like, you sound like a narcissist. <laughs> and? <laughs> and people commented on that. And we're like, that's actually, Nicole, like, um, I, I, I talked about this in, in a previous one. Because you know what? I Sometimes we need to do explanations in our podcast because we're assuming that everyone has watched every single episode. And it's quite awful to just bless you. <laughs> oh my God, it's <laughs> time. It's quite awful to think that someone has watched every episode of your podcast like that is so evil and sinister to think that like oh someone has paid enough attention and time and, like, in. i mean it's like yeah it's not that's that hard. like so many hours that's like at least seven plus hours seven and a half maybe eight listen i can hours. understand when we reach 10 no starting to explain stuff from episode one no but like what if it's someone's first time so i need to explain this okay go ahead a few years ago i told jake Sorry, one I'm of our first times hanging out. no it's okay you can you can jelk max while we're here this is a safe space to jelk max um a few years ago i told jake like we were talking about religion and everything and i was like you know what sometimes i think about like what if i am god like what mm-hmm, if like mm-hmm. we are just like our own god i'm not gonna explain it and you were like you sound like a narcissist and we talked about that on the Wait, podcast i didn't say that yeah. on the podcast no, no you said that to I me said that to you person. during that yes, yes yes and then we brought it up on the podcast and did i say yeah you did no and then in the comments people were like that is a sign of being truly enlightened nicole like that is a beautiful sign you should really look into I almost said Karl Marx. It's definitely not Karl Marx, but like I forget what the fucking physicist's name is. But you should look into him, like Nicole. Like, okay, they didn't actually say that. They just said that that's like usually thoughts that people have after doing psychedelics. But yeah, mm? you have to call on me. Hold on, my mom's calling. Oh. No, do you want to say something in it? Like, do you have a joke or something? Me? No, I don't uh. have any joke. Okay, how was your day? I am. I am without joke today. Okay, no joke today. I taught Jake a Polish word of the day. Do you want to teach him one? Um, the previous No, no, no. Like oh, a, I know that like, one like already. A, like a new one, like one that he doesn't know, like something completely random like, and different. Like Jovnica. Yeah. He is big boy. He must learn something more than that. Well, like, let's start slow. Next week, we'll do that. But, like, this week, let's start slow. <laughs> What's one word, Mom? One word? What's mm-hmm. your favorite word? Zions. <laughs> Zions. <laughs> I thought she said, damn. <laughs> Zions. Zions. That means, do you want to guess what that means? Um, It's like when you gather with like candles and speak to a ghost. Close. It means a rabbit. Do you want to know what word I taught Jake today? What? Koopa. What? Koopa. What? Koopa. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, this is a bad time to tell you, Jake, that your nickname in Polish, like your name would be like Kuba. Kuba, which is You've told me that multiple times. This is a bad time, as if you haven't told me that actually like 10 times throughout my life. Kuba, and then my which last is pretty name close to Kuba. See you. Okay, I will miss you. <laughs> I'll call you back soon. <laughs> Bye. 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 I miss okay, you. <laughs> what were you gonna say that I was gonna raise? Like I was gonna oh. point. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You have to call on oh, me. Oh, Jake. Jake. Thank you. Don't remember what's <laughs> <laughs> What were you talking? Oh, about the God thing. Oh, about you know what I was gonna say was that people responding to you saying like this is a really enlightenment sound of like thought train of thought train of whatever. They're literally just gassing you up like they did with that with what's her name from Love Is One. They're just gassing her up. Sorry that. about it. Don't say that. Oh my god. It would be so funny if your hair came off with that hat. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that. So you think I'm Mother God? No, I don't. So you think I, I think am God? They are trying to gas you up and make you think so. So you think I am God? <laughs> <laughs> We're all our own individual gods. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm thinking about canceling my gym membership soon. Yeah. Are you okay? Um. And it's not because like anything's going like wrong at the gym like things are going great like oh. i'm really strong and so well, he's for like emotional comfort yeah. i'm like really strong and swole and i look great we and sexy and like my endurance is like crazy like i could probably like win like um what's that game called like super ninja warrior or whatever like <laughs> that game yeah what's like that, that game called that game super show. ninja warrior that american show. ninja warrior oh yeah yeah so you like you could win survivor Oh, yeah, that too. Yeah. And like, <laughs> all of it. I, I'm doing, Cowboy's like confused why water's dripping on him. I'm sorry. Um, and like, I, I could probably do like really well. And like, I love going to the gym and it's, it has nothing to do with that. It's just that every day 
I keep going at the same time and I keep seeing this one guy who's there at the gym who looks like a miniature version of like Jeremy Allen White and Gene Wilder. Oh, you did say this. And I'm really sick and tired of the potential and the fear of him thinking that I'm really sick and tired of the potential of him thinking that I'm following him there because that's my biggest fear that like when I get to the gym first like I've even tried getting there like a few minutes earlier than I normally do because I don't want him to be like this bitch is following me and so even when I'm in a place first I feel the need to like turn around in the mirror and be like I was here first just so you know like I was here before you wait one second <laughs> um come here what is there something on me I'm gonna help you with what <laughs> the eyelash right here. <laughs> you just spit in my eye. Pa -pa. Pa -pa. Pa -pa. Bye. Bye. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. See you later. See ya. Bye. 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 See ya. Ciao. I don't know. I don't think so. See you later. Bye. See, ya. See you. Bye. Bye. Later. Pa -pa.